Hello and welcome to my video lecture on adding uh, checkboxes and radio buttons uh, to your HTML form. So here we have uh, my first data entry page uh, that we've been using uh, for some of these videos. This is what it currently looks like. Here we simply have some text boxes and an email input box. Now what we want to do is we want to start playing around with some radio and checkboxes. So here I've got a template file that I use to store my radio and, and checkboxes. So here we've got our we've got a form, um, and here would be what would be a label. Uh, right now uh, it's not a label, but we'll set up the labels uh, in the next uh, in the in the actual index HTML file. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this out, and I'll grab both of the breaks. And I'll copy that. I'm going to put that into my uh, HTML form and I'll tab everything over to make it look nice. So here right underneath my email uh, I might want to put in a second break just to really make that stand out. Um, so this is the input. The type is a radio button which means I'm only going to be able to pick one of these. Uh, and the way I make sure that I can only pick one of them is the name equals crust. So any any of these inputs that has a name of crust, only one of these can be picked. So right now, uh, this would be if somebody wanted to pick uh, a, a type of crust they wanted on their uh, pizza. Here, right, so, so name is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the value is what would get passed in our post array since we are using our post method uh, to send things to our display PHP. And then here, uh, this would, is what's displayed to the user. Here you can say that, see that checked is on the second input. So if we save that, we can see what that looks like on our uh, data entry page. So you can see that deep dish is actually the one that is checked. I come back here, I copy check out of there, I put it here, and I save that. When I go back and I refresh my HTML page, you can see that thin crust. So that's, how, that's what the checked attribute does. So that's our um, check boxes. Uh, as you can see, if you wanted to add another one, it would be very easy. Uh, you just copy it down, you leave the type the same, the name the same, and then just change the value uh, to uh, stuffed. And then we could say that we wanted it stuffed. And then if I save that, then I go back to my web browser and I refresh it, I can now see that there's a stuffed. And then you can see that I can only pick one of these. It only lets me pick one. Now let's take a look at what happens when we put in checkboxes and how checkboxes display. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to bring that into my index HTML. I'll use some white space to make it easier for me to see what I'm doing here. So there's my input box. Uh, one of the things I didn't do before is I put in my labels. I like to use labels. Um, so here this is going to be a label called crust and this is going to be a label called toppings. So here I can see that my input type is a checkbox. Again, once again, uh, I'm using the name, but here the names are all different because checkboxes allow you to pick multiple. So in this case, if we want someone to be able to pick multiple toppings like pepperoni and mushrooms, we would use checkboxes instead of radio buttons. And here you see the labels that are out here. Um, olives isn't followed by a break, so I'm gonna add that break in here. As a matter of fact, I might as well add in two so that separates itself uh, from my submit button. So if I save that and then I go to my web browser and I refresh that, now I can see that I've got my crust. Uh, all I didn't do was add in uh, some breaks to separate that. So let me just do that. So after my labels, I'm going to add in a break because I don't want my labels to be right next to the first element of my checkboxes or my radio buttons. So I'm going to save that, go back to my web browser, I refresh that. That's pretty much the way I want it to work and now I can check off all three. And when I submit what happens uh, when I send this, these are all separate array elements in the post array whereas this would be only one array element. 
So that is the conclusion of my video lecture on how to use radio buttons and checkboxes in your HTML forms.